So the ORAN architecture, which is further evolved by ORAN Alliance, uh, they have incorporated certain different logical functions and two of them are basically the intelligent controllers and the orchestration. So the intelligent controllers are further divided into the into the near real time and the known real time. What it does, there are different uh, applications that can be incorporated in these controllers, which can be managed by a third party machine learning designer who will use different toolkits and they extract the data from the distributed and the central unit and optimize, keep optimizing the parameters and the features in the network. Any application which requires, which is a real time application and within one second, they have to be uh, acted upon that will be catered by near, near real time rig and where it is not uh, time sensitive, it will be taken care of by non real time rig. So non real time rig is basically placed somewhere in the data center, whereas the near real time rig, depending upon the kind of application, it will be either kept at the edge or at the regional level. Now, these third party applications can be used to optimize the quality of service, uh, optimize the advanced antenna techniques going forward in the beam forming. Uh, it can also be helpful to uh, manage the radio resources in an efficient way at a UE level rather than uh, at a cell level. So different kind of advancements that are happening by using the third party applications here. The other important aspect is the orchestration, which will help to configure and design the radio access network by in just a matter of hours, uh, rather than having uh, the long uh, process of configuring the conventional radio access network and designing them. So ONAP is another uh, community which is working, uh, which is a part of a Linux foundation on evolving the orchestration part. So we'll touch base on that also. There are new interfaces that have been incorporated and added by ORAN Alliance, such as O1 and E2, where it is more towards the intelligent controllers connectivity and towards the orchestration.